Homies to the Marys of Buddha, the victorious conqueror, the Tathagata, the four destroyer, the complete enlightened, the king of accommodating light. With the compassion you serve all the sentient beings, O oh, victorious conqueror, merely hearing your name relieves the sufferings of all lower realms. Healer of the maladies of the three inborn mental poisons, the medicine Buddha, the king of Akamari light, we pay our homage before you. Tashidile Namaste, honorary president of Fifth International Sorry Congress, Distinguished chief guests, guests, delegates, professors, lecturers, and respected story teachers, practitioners, fellow students, and all the ladies and gentlemen. We are the member of Swarikpa International College here. And firstly, we would like to wish you all a very happy Losa and would like to welcome you all in the afternoon session. We three are the students of Suaripa International College standing on the behalf of Suaripa. Yes, we'd like to welcome you all. Namaste, my name is Pimba Malama. I'm from Sindhu Paltok District, Nepal. My name is Srin Samo, and I'm from Dolbo. Tashi Tele, my name is Hana, I'm from Finland. National so, uh, Congress on Soaripa, and we three are very happy, and it's our privilege to stand in front of the great, you know, great scholars and the great practitioners and the supporter of Soaripa. And so we'd like to thank our uh, college team for believing us and for letting us opportunity to present our presentation on introduction, introduction of Swaripa International College in the Fifth Congress. Uh, so, let's begin our presentation. With this wish and the great aspirations, our story stakeholder introduced Swaripa International College in the year 2015 AD. And yes, definitely with the vision of spreading the knowledge of Swaripa, not it's all over the world. <coughs> and it's the feeling of pride, and it's, it's very fortunate that the Swaripa International College established in the very beautiful land, birthplace of Sakyamuni Buddha, Sakyamela himself in Nepal, and definitely in the heart of Kathmandu Valley, in the Bodhanath region, which is the World Heritage Site. And yes, for the establishment of Varipa International College, I definitely would like to thank you to the Nepal government and also to the Lumini Buddhist University for its recognition. 
Without their recognition, it will be impossible to establish the Swaripa SRIC College here in Nepal. We, in, the, in the very morning, we got a very good news from our principal that uh, Swaripa uh, is recognized as one of the main in, in Nepal. So it's a very good news for us. And yes, definitely, other than that, uh, Lumini Buddhist University and Nepal government, we definitely, and we should not forget to thank to IATTM, International Academy for Traditional Tibetan Medicine Group, and SKIN, Sori Kang International Nepal, for establishing the very first institute, institution to offer an accredited degree in Sawarikpa, the science of traditional Himalayan and Tibetan medicine in Nepal. Yes, definitely. With the vision, you can see to stabilize the practice of science of healing for future generations to all over the spreading its knowledge to all over the world. Yes. So, under the uh, S. Swarikpa International College, we uh, we're just going to talk about the curriculum. It provides the short uh, term course like. 10 days course, 3 months course, 6 month course on Swaripa. Uh, it's not only that. The main thing what it provides is the BSM program, the Bachelor in Swaripa Medicine, which is designed for 5.5 years of studies, which includes 4.5 years of theoretical study and 1 year of intensive, which includes, yes, definitely the practical, practical one. And, and during this uh, year, 5.5 year, uh, we have each year is categorized into the two semesters, and then uh, which is followed by the practical exam as well as theoretical exams. And talking about our main language, we study English, Tibetan, on English, Tibetan, and Nepali respectively. And and yes. Talking, uh, talking about our BSM course, now we are running the very first batch, and we are the student of the very first batch, and it, uh, it commences first batch from the July 2016. First, my, uh, my dear friend, Chinla, to proceed our presentation for the <laughs> establishment of our college. There are some stakeholders who are very important for our college. So. <clears throat> <laughs> Our advisory members, the first person, I think you all know, is our own and only Dr. Nida Chenaksa. Uh, and also Sori practitioner, and he is the head of international management team for this fifth Sori Congress. And he is Dr. Tunji Shirab, and he is from Bhutan. He is scholar of Chakuri Medical College, India. And he is director of Pure Vision Herbal Healing Center in Kathmandu. He is Dr. Ganesham Guru. Uh, he, he did talk earlier. And uh, he's PhD holder and he is the country director of WWF Nepal. And she's Miss Shelley Chen. Uh, she's from Singapore and she's a businesswoman. She works at Aris Fresh Private Limited and she is main contributor of our college. Mr. Eric Rosenbush, and he is acupuncturist and herbalist at uh, Gunanata USA. Gunanata is the uh, private clinic name of him at USA, and he is also instructor and program director of Surrey Kang International. <laughs> so, beside our advisory members, we have our college management teams. So here we have our uh, our own and only director, Dr. Tenzin Dargil. He is the director of our college and he is vice chairman of Sorikan International Nepal and he is managing director of Fendi Himalayan Medical Center as well. <laughs> and uh, here we have Mr. Raj Kesarasa. He is the 
vice director of our college and is chairman of Sorikan International Nepal and he's the head of the local organizing team for the fifth Sorry Congress. <laughs> and then we have our uh, Dr. Gimatsri Nepali, he is principal of our college and uh, he is managing director of Kutpan Medical Clinic and he is also our great lecturer at our college. <laughs> and we have Dr. Lakshan Lamla, he is our vice president and he is managing director of Shelkar Medical Clinic in Kathmandu. <laughs> Next, we have Dr. Sunam Sri Sherpa. He is member of our college and he is managing director of Marathika Sorik Shempelling at Marathika. <laughs> and we have uh, Mr. Tashi, Tashi Futso Rokaya. He is member of our, our college and uh, he is uh, general secretary of Himalayan Guge organization. I think he's not present here today. And we have uh, Mr. Rajendra Kumar Lama. He is member of our college and uh, branch manager of Fendi Himalayan Soaring Medical Center at Daran. <laughs> and she's, with, she's Ms. Bema Bhutti Sherpa. She's member of our college and she's managing director of Pure Vision Herbal, Herbal Healing Center in Kathmandu. So uh, she is Dr. Yantu Lamala, she is member of our college and she is uh, managing doctor at Thangu Drolmal Hakan Clinic, Swambu. And he is Mr. Swambu Gole, he is member of our college and he is legal advisor of our college as well. Okay. So they are our college uh, team. Yes, they are our parents. Because of them, we are here, uh, standing in front of you people. And yes, uh, um, uh, have you been in our college? Yes. I think some of you might have. If not, then we, the student of SRI, would like to welcome you all on a beautiful journey. Okay, in our college. And yes. <laughs> It takes only 20 minutes from the Bodhanat Stupa by work. By work, you can walk, and then you can first must be heartily welcomed by our our loyal uh, gatekeeper, Mr. Khadka, who is responsible for our sec uh, security. And further, when you go inside and side in our colleagues, you can see our two main buildings, as Yutok House and Mendiria House. Which house you want to go inside? Which house? <laughs> okay, let's go uh, to the Yutok house. You are much welcome in Yutok house. When we enter in the, the Yutok house, includes our office and our our boys' dormitory and the guest house. Uh, she's our uh, secretary, madam, who works so so hard for us in the absence of our uh, principal and vice principal. She handle all the administrative work and uh, take care of all the students. And she not only handle the administrative work, but she's also responsible for our Tibetan class. She's a good teacher, Tibetan teacher. Yes, I, our, let's go to the Bendiria house. Uh, in Bandari House, you can see the classroom first. It is centrally located and well furnished. Well, you can see all of the students uh, studying here. You can uh, hold up to the 30 students, but now we have uh, 25 students. Uh, they are from the different, different, uh, different places with uh, various cultural backgrounds. Uh, it includes six boys and uh, 19 girls. Yes, uh, especially mainly from the local areas, Himalayan and the hilly region of Nepal and India. You can see the most um, upper Mustang as well, Dolpa and Humla, Ramichab, that's all are the Himalayan region of Nepal and Ramichab inside the hilly regions. And not only it includes the local uh, parity to the local student, but also mainly to the international student. So we have an uh, international student coming from Palm and Lo land Spain and Czech Republic. That is our classroom where we study and share our knowledge together. 
And yes, when we go further uh, in the Penduria house, you can see the uh, our small library. Uh, though it is small at the moment, but you know, it's uh, now it's uh, uh, covering many of our uh, field of knowledge. Uh, mainly, uh, we can spend a little bit about the uh, you know books. These all are donated, but hope we have a big uh, library in the coming future. And yes, this is our clinic. You can see that uh, she's our uh, MG Pudikila. Uh, she's our resident, resident uh, MG La doctor who take care of all the students as well as we provide the medical facility to the local people, local people. And you know, um, you can see that's our our medicine. <laughs> Just a little medicine, but we're planning to put up other medicine and further. Well, talking about her, she's graduated from Central University for High Tibet and Study Class from Banaras. Uh, Banaras, and she's not only the residential doctor, but she's also a uh, lecturer. She uh, taught us diet and lifestyle. And this is our hostel. You can see Girls Dormitory and Boys Dormitory. Girls Dormitory is a little bit dodgy. <laughs> A little bit not needed than the voice, but it's uh, it's like Dr. Nee the last time told like it's technology, you know, because of the camera. Uh, the ghost strong there is more keener than the voice. <laughs> and this is our dining hall. This is our dining hall. This is a little bit modest, but serves us very well. These are all the students eating the momo. So you might like mo? You like mo? <laughs> okay, so today we have a mobile, mobile party Saturday. So, uh, if anybody wants to uh, have a mobile party on Saturday, they can join us. And but for that, you need to join our college and study with us. <laughs> and this is our uh, beloved cook, uh, Mrs. Chiring Yangzhou, who prepared our delicious meal. Yes, and this is our cleaning Amala, who clean our college premises and make our college. Mm. And besides that, besides that, we have a very great lecturers. Lecturers, so talking about lecturers. So um, here we have our Soric lecturers. Uh, we only don't have Soric lecturers. We, all, uh, we also have modern anatomy lecture as well. But uh, here we talk uh, to talk about our Soric lecturers. Our Soric lecturers are mainstream Soric lineage holders like Chakpuri Medical College, Menzi Khan, and Central University for Tibetan Studies. Some of our lecturers represent the parental tradition as well. And here are a list of our lecturers. So this is in our class, Soric class. He is our, our Soric class teacher. He teaches like two, three subjects for us, and he's Amchi Na Tenzinla. Uh, he's very vast and deep in knowledge, and he's a scholar from Chakpuri, Darjeeling, India, and he's our residential teacher. So this is in our modern anatomy class. She's Ms. Sunara Sresa. She also teaches in um, Nepal Medical College. Nepal Medical College, Medical College is just near, like 15 minutes nearby our college. This is our this is our Buddhism class. Uh, they are our Buddhism teachers, uh, Mr. Punya Parsad Prajuli and Michael Smith. <laughs> so here uh, I'm going to introduce, most, to talk mostly about our academic, whole academic study for the first time, of, for first semester. So it is during our entrance exam. This was the first time when, when we all got together here and at our college, and it was on July 17, 2016. So this picture is taken after our entrance exam. After our entrance exam, uh, some of our students got selected for the first uh, semester, and some did not. So here, uh, this is the picture taken after being select selected at Soripa International College. And this is our routine for the border, border <coughs> students. And this is our first semester uh, daily routine for class hours. And in addition to this, we also have oral Gyushi recitation weekly. So besides 
our class hours. We also had guest lecturers. So these are uh, these are our guest lecturers. So our first guest lecturer was uh, Dr. Hugues Gosens from France, and he gave lectures on us about importance of holistic approach of body and mind in health and medicine. And uh, our next uh, guest lecture was from our director, Dr. Tintin Darge, and it was on the Soripa medicine development in Nepal. And uh, we also got guest lecture from Eric. Uh, Erikla gave us lecture about Swarikpa and uh, Yunani, Sita and Ayurveda. And this is um, uh, not lecture, this is like therapy practice, which is very needed for Swarikpa students as well. So Miss Vivi Karam from Estonia gave us teaching about energy therapy and we still pra practice this she said uh, she will come after Congress at our college and teach us this again. Not again, uh, continuing with our therapy. <laughs> and this is uh, Mr. Ben Joff. He's from uh, South Africa and he, did, he taught us English, English language and uh, this language class was especially for the um, beginning English speaker as well. So most of our friends who were a little bit poor in English um, advanced their English very well. <coughs> okay, this is the picture of our um, excursion, educational excursion. Uh, as we all students are very serious about studying, we also visit to different places that is to us as like uh, this is uh, this is the picture that is taken in the National Botanical Garden in Godavari, Kathmandu. Uh, it's contained many herbal medicines, so we study there and we take a you know uh, uh, especially with the MG uh, director, with director and our principals and and our vice principal they guided us here also. We we uh, we get to know many medicinal herbs as well. And besides, uh, as we are more serious. We are more uh, love to you know make a fun as uh, you know as and yes uh, we make a fun we go to the picnics and you know we go to the kora in the evening and the you know bodhana yes you can see the uh, picture of our friends yes and uh, and as we are very fun loving and also very serious but we to each other, we uh, for being an eminent physician, it's very, uh, very good to practice. Like you know, considering the fellow student as a friend and a spiritual, a spiritual siblings, we respect each other and we go hand in hand in cleanliness as well. Like we, as we uh, in a in a lifestyle and then we need to do the cleanliness and all that. It's all considered and we do actually in the practice, like uh, Swari by in action, like we do the action, like, you know, we clean the college premises inside and outside. <laughs> so yes, uh, so we have just ended our first semester. And how's the first semester is like? Uh, it's done by uh, Lumini Buddhist University. We have to do the practical exams. Every, uh, this is the picture uh, of the astrology teachers and our, our friends. Uh, the ast astrology or exam, we do the recitation as well. Uh, and, uh, and every Friday, we need to do the presentation on certain topic, on like on Gyushi, especially on the Gyushi. We do a lot of discussion and you know, question answer and all that in the Friday session, especially in the Friday sessions. And yes, um, and with that practical exam, also we uh, we, uh, we attend the theoretical exams, and this is the uh, this is the exam hall, and this is after the exam, we finish the exam, and we are like very happy. <laughs> and yes, uh, this is the picture when MG uh, MG Nidala just visited our college last time, and yes, and um, we finish our first first batch. 2016, uh, 2016 class, and we are the student here. Uh, and guess what? Uh, we are in the second.
it's semester and we got a very nice result, very good result uh, in the very first semester also with a very good exam, that's a good news. And again, uh, yes, last but not the least, uh, we're just trying to uh, just introduce our colleagues to all of you and it's an open invitation to everyone, please come and visit our college grants. And yes, we try to explain our short, uh, short experience, later our Hannah will uh, share her experience, but here are some of the experience written by our friends in a one sentence, you can see, just a little. Okay, this is, uh, so hope you enjoyed our presentation, this much for the presentation. But last, uh, last but not the least, We'd like to thank you uh, for your great support and great, uh, you know, um, the sponsorship. You are helping our student in the Swaripa International College. We hope to uh, hope to see you all and guiding us and you know uh, in the for the future in the in the Swaripa and you know we can get more knowledge from you people, beautiful people. So uh, with that, uh, I would like to. Um, I, I would like to request our dear friend Hanala to share some of her experience being an uh, international student in Swaripa International College. Thank you. And uh, I should tell very shortly about my experience as an international student in our Swaripa College. First, I want to say I feel very fortunate and privileged to be able to study in our college. Our teachers have a very profound knowledge. Our teachers have a very profound knowledge and wisdom. And they are limitlessly patient in guiding us students in the field of Savaripa. And my fellow students from many different backgrounds are ever so bright-minded, joyful, inspiring and supporting and they are always there when I lose my track, so I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> my first encounter with Savarepa was in Europe some years ago, and I took part in many well-organized programs, but I always felt a need to study in a more deeper level. So finally, this wish of mine brought me here. <coughs> if I should describe my experience here and compare it to my studies in Europe, it's all very different. First, coming here as a Western, it means leaving behind home and family and life with comforts. <laughs> also, we mean uh, we leave behind our social and financial security. And it's a very big step for us uh, about studying. Uh, in the West, we study in short modules for from few days to few weeks at the time, and then we return back to our normal life. But here in our college, we are exposed to Savaripa 24 hours a day, <laughs> for five months at, at a time, and there is no escape. <laughs> Uh, no coffee shops, no chatting with friends during free time. Why? Because there is no free time. <laughs> so when we have no classes, there is always homework or pra practicing for memorizing or some other work. So our life uh, and commitment is 100% Savaripa to the point uh, one actually forgets there is a, um, an outside world somewhere. <laughs> and uh, about language, in the West we study in English or in our own local languages. Here we learn to study in Tibetan, which has the true essence of Samarita. And Tibetan language is like a key to a treasure room for all the knowledge us students desire for. <coughs> but how we struggle learning the language and, and memorizing the Gishu. It takes countless of hours and cups of tea and even tears and despair. Yeah. But there is no turning back. And about the input, also it's a source of great joy. I understood that obstacles 
They are part of our studies and accepting it, one can continue the journey. Also, as a Scandinavian, I understand that although the process of study is a challenge, but the real challenge for us lies ahead. Because even after accomplishing the degree of Savarikpa, um, it's only the beginning of the work because there is so much work to do in the skeptical north <laughs> to es establishing an official recognition for Savarikpa. <laughs>
upon another group of college students who will be performing the Tibetan cultural dance showcasing the three provinces of Tibet. That is, Dodu, situated in the southeast of Tibet, commonly known as Kham or the land of warriors. Dome is located in the northeast, commonly known as Amdo, the birthplace of His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. Uta is the cultural heartland of Tibetan people and the province of Dharma. Now I would like to call the dancers on stage. Please show your appreciation by clapping along.
we have different kind of feelings like love, happiness, etc. Surke Thaili is a traditional purse used by a Nepali woman in old times. This song is a conversation between a man, a man and a lady where the man chases the lady asking, where is your purse? Like Surke Thaili Kai. With that, I request you to have a big round of applause and help me in welcoming them. Sorry. 
for International College for the academic year 2016 to 2017. Here we have divided the sponsors like based on the first one based on the student sponsorship and the second one based on the non-student sponsorship. And I will just would like to invite those who are here to say thank you on behalf of our college. First we have Karen Stone. <coughs> Sponsored from Switzerland, <laughs> from UBS, United Bank of Switzerland. <laughs> So they have been very, very generous for development of Tibetan medicine worldwide. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. of the college, they need 10,000 US. I will personally pledge 5,000 US to this project. Uh, and I hope all of you will follow from now onwards and add on to the rest of the five or more. Okay, please do that. Thank you. Yes, 
Dr. Anchi Chota. Mr. Ganshan Guru. <laughs> Jacqueline Yu. Actually, we would like to give to Dr. Nida for his, for his, for his uh, enormous work on developing Shore Power worldwide and his uh, effort and his uh, uh, highly uh, knowledgeable uh, information on Shore uh, has benefited all and will benefit all in future. We would like to Go to the Thank you. 
Christian family, all of us human beings, long life, especially your long life. We need you, Dr. Yes, Dr. Bhutan from Thailand. Sorry, from Thailand. Emilio Galotta! Emilio Galotta! Emilio Galotta! 
Oh uh-huh. 